how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. We're continuing on with my makeup collection and declutter series for 2023. We're almost through it at this point. Everything is up except for this video that you're currently watching and then eyeshadow palettes. That'll be the next one and I'm very excited for it, but not today. <laughs> Today's video, I'm going to be specifically focusing on like my single shadowy type things, my press singles, my glitters, my liquid glitter shadows, my like jelly things, stuff like that. Stuff of that nature. I don't know how intense this declutter is going to be. I definitely have some things I can get rid of. Like I think I'm kind of over my ColourPop Super Shock shadows. I don't know the last time I reached for them. Um, I probably have some like liquid shadows that just aren't good anymore. Various things like that, but we'll see. I haven't filmed that part of the declutter yet, so your guess is as good as mine, <laughs> honestly. But I'm excited to share it with you and get into it, and I'm very excited that eyeshadow palettes is just around the corner. Before we get into it, I did of course film this look. It should already be up on Instagram and YouTube shorts by the time this video goes up, and as far as my accessories go, just an old basic choker. Don't know where it's from, but these lovely earrings are Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy. Also, just a couple quick things things because if I don't say these I get comments pertaining to it um, but number one please don't get offended if I happen to declutter your favorite liquid shadow press single glitter don't get offended we all have different preferences I am so happy that it's your favorite it's just not mine for whatever reason also number two please don't ask me to send you anything I feel weird and icky giving you makeup to people I don't know I give dibs to my friends and family I donate what I'm able to and I toss and recycle what is no longer in its prime. <laughs> and lastly, please don't feel pressure to declutter your collection if that's not what you need in your life. It's just what I need in mine. I like to do this little reset at the end of every year. It makes me feel fueled and excited and ready to use things that maybe I haven't touched in a while. And yeah, without further ado, let's hop in and go over my singles collection and do some decluttering. All right, my friends. Hello. How's it going? As you can see, <laughs> we're going to be getting into some singles today. I decided to make this video kind of a combination of press single shadows, as you see here, like my super shocks, like individual shadows, but also my loose shadows, my glitter my like glittery gel products and then like liquid shadows um, so we're gonna do all of that today we have so many things to go over I honestly have no goals for this video either because like for instance my singles I'm gonna keep majority of these because believe it or not I have been itching to do build your own palette videos again recently I just haven't gotten around to it I've been prioritizing other things but needless to say I like having all these options for when I do build your own palette videos. It's nice to have all these singles to pick from, but there are definitely some that need to go and I will get into why. Um, but we have 363 things across the board total to go over. Um, again, no goal, just vibes. We're gonna see what happens. Um, again, I'm not swatching everything. I'm simply not, I'm so sorry. I just, I simply can't. I'm not swatching 363 things. This would take 500 years. Um, what I am gonna do is just go over the overview and show you things. The only things I might swatch are like the gel type products, just because I need to make sure they're actually still good, you know? Um, but regardless, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna start with all the pressed singles just because when I organized all of this to take pictures for the end of the video, I didn't wanna close all these up just to pull them out again. <laughs> so we're gonna start here. This is the biggest part, um, 296 things. Let's, let's get going. So let's go over a set first that has to go because they are rank. They smell so bad. Um, I think it was Millie from Bad to the Brow that posted on her story a while back about asking if other people's pastel roses singles smelled bad. So I wandered over to mine. I gave them a little sniff and they smell rank. They smell so chemically and gross. Like even just having this open, it's wafting all in front of me. Um, I actually also did drop this on accident yesterday and a lot of them kind of exploded a little if you can't tell. Um, but I'm not mad because these are disgusting. They smell horrible. I don't know if that's a common thing with pastel roses. I don't know if their palettes smell bad. I don't know if it's just this batch of singles. No idea. They sent me these some Sometime last year, I think late last year, um, and I'll be honest, I'm glad I haven't purchased anything else because these smell really bad. So unfortunately, these have got to go. I'm gonna move this one because its reflection is distracting me. <laughs> um, some more things that I think just simply need to go before I give you the overview of everything that I own. I think I'm kind of over my ColourPop Super Shock shadows. These have been dwindling more and more over the past 
year or two. And I don't think I've reached for these one time in the last year. I don't think I've reached for these even one time in the last year. So I want these to go as well. Um, I'll give you the, the vibes, but this is Roy G. Biv, a gold pink sparkly situation. Um, I think this is Ice Dream. The label fell off, but I'm pretty sure this is Ice Dream. This one's probably my favorite out of this bunch. I don't own Ritz anymore, actually. I ran out of it, I think last year, and I just never got around to repurchasing it, but Ritz is a perfect, like, just wet looking topper. Um, tassel, super bright, icy shade. This one's similar to Ritz. Uh, Mycelium from the Raw Beauty Christie collab. It just gives you like a glitzy wetness. Like it just tops over anything and makes your eyes look wet. It's really pretty. Um, rooftop cocktails. This one's kind of like a greenish wet shade. Uh, this one is Frog. It's kind of like Ritz, but instead of it being like a neutral, it's more of a pink. Um, Moonwalk kind of like another kind of greenish, limey brown situation. And then we have Day Trippin. This one's kind of like a lavender topper. Um, these are all beautiful shades. Like these are the ones I narrowed it down to last year, but I don't use them. There's no point in hoarding them if I can't use them. And on a similar note, I have these three from Sugar Pill that I would love nothing more than to pluck them out and just stick them with like my other sugar pill singles. But these ones are like glued into the pans. And I know you can do a thing where you like put it on a hot pad, you melt the glue, then you pluck it out. I'll be honest, I don't wanna go through that. I don't need these three specific shadows enough to go through that and potentially ruin them in the process. I'd rather just give them to a friend as is. Um, they're really cute shades. We have a sideshow kind of like a a coral we have love plus like such a good red shadow like it kind of hurts my heart not to have it anymore um and then we have daybreak kind of like a peachy shimmer um these are really pretty but i also have similar colors 100 times over i'm not reaching for these in their individual pots ever um so I don't need to keep them. And then we have these cuties. These are the duo chromes from the Game Beauty and Persona 5 collection. These are really cool. Actually, I think they're multi-chromes. They're really, really pretty. They have so many beautiful shifts and they look so smooth on the lid. Um, my only problem with these is I just don't reach for them. <laughs> I don't know what it is about like singles being in like little compacts like this. It's just not something I think about. They get put away and I never think about them again. So I'd rather give these to a friend who might use them more, but these are really, really pretty. Um, so this one's Joanna. This one's kind of like a blue purple multi-chrome. Um, this one is ne Necromicon. <laughs> Oh, I don't remember any of these names. This one goes from like a purple to a green. Like right now in my real life vision, this looks purple, but on camera, it looks green. Like it's really, really pretty. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see the purple now. Super, super cool. Um, this one is Robin Hood. I've actually used this one a lot. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that I, I almost finished this one. I will say there's not a ton of product in these pans, but they are super, super cheap. So I'll, I'll let it slide. And last is Captain Kid. This one's kind of like a gold red you can see i've had some pan in there too um so yeah i don't really reach for those i don't want to keep them just for the sake of keeping them i thought that was such a cool collaboration but i don't want to keep them for no reason okay so i think i got out of the way all the things that i'm decluttering now it's just going to be a general overview of my singles um, i'm just going to kind of show you which brands are here and maybe shout out some favorites because i really don't want to be here all day and I don't think you wanna be here all day either. Um, if you're super, super interested, I did swatch all of my singles last year and I've only acquired, I think my Odin's Eye ones and my Ensley Rain ones and my Fantasy Cosmetica ones. And I have individual swatches throughout my platforms on those as well if you need to see them. Um, but let's, uh, let's just get into it. Let's do, I don't even know where to start, I'm overwhelmed. Well, these are my Give Me Glow ones. These ones are fun. These ones are super, super cool. Um, this one's like Dragon Scales, Party Monster, Glass Slipper, and Electric Unicorn. These are all so pretty and sparkly. Like, I don't think anything does these justice other than real life. They're so beautiful. I reach for these countless times. I think they're insane. And I think, side note, they started doing their pans like smaller. I don't know for sure if they've started doing everything smaller, but you might be able to get these in a smaller size, which would be cheaper as well. These little cuties, these are from the Fantasy Cosmetica Lost Library. So cute, I love this whole vibe, but these are all holochromes. They all have little multicolored holographic reflex in all of them. They're so pretty. 
Side note, because I feel like somebody's gonna ask. Um, this is House of Hades nail polish by Moon Cats. And these little cuties are from Ana Luisa. Um, but isn't this the prettiest nail polish? I just, I can't stop looking at it. I just did my nails yesterday and I'm obsessed. Let's see, let's see. Um, these are from Odin's Eye. These are the Odin's Eye multi-chrome specifically. Um, I broke one. <laughs> if you can't tell, my blue one got kind of shattered and messy. I think this brown one did too. Um, but these are all the multi-chromes specifically. They came out with 12 multi-chromes and then like, I think 30 singles, like just regular shimmers, um, but they're also super pretty. But these ones are more multi chromey They have like different shifts to them. They're super, super pretty. Um, and then my shimmer ones are down here. And unfortunately I lost one of them. <laughs> I literally don't know what happened. Like as I was gathering all of my singles for this, one of them is gone. So I actually don't remember if I included that in the count or not. I either did or I didn't. Uh, but yeah, I'm missing one. I don't know where it went, but these are all so pretty. I love these colors. Like this one here, I think it's called Charlotte. This one is so beautiful. I love all the different blues and greens. I just have these in numerical order. Like they all have like a one through 30 or whatever on it. Um, and they're so, so pretty. So I love these. I have these from Ensley Rain. They started sending me stuff recently and I've been loving it. Um, these four over here are from the recent uh, Lands of Enchantment collection. Along with this, this is technically a highlighter. It's like a rainbow highlighter. Isn't that so cute? Um, but for the sake of this video and for my own storage purposes, it's the size of an eyeshadow. So I'm storing it with my eyeshadows. I'm considering it a single eyeshadow. Um, so this is included in the single eyeshadow count. Um, these eight up here, they sent me along with the, I think the Harvest Moon collection or the Flower Moon, one of the two. And then these four down here are from the Twisted Tea Party collection. They're so pretty. I really like this one. So cute. These are my Cleona multi-chromes. They sent me a random set, of, like I think last year, and I really like them. Maybe they sent them this year, I don't even remember. Um, I use these a lot, actually. I reach for them a lot in my Build Your Own Palette videos. I think they're so cute. They're just so, I just, I don't know. I feel like Cleona's really just owned the multi-chrome game ever since the beginning. Um, they're so super pretty. I think this is one of my top used ones. It's called like Royal Pear or something. Yeah, royal pear. I use that one a lot. It's so pretty. Let's see, Lethal Cosmetics. This was a Build Your Own palette that I got, gosh, like three years ago probably. And honestly, the shimmers in here don't even match up to like what they're capable of now. But this is still a cute little set of shadows. I really like this color story that I created. Um, Recluse, such a good mustardy yellow. It's so pretty. Um, I think this is fun. Just like a good mixture of colors here. And then these are a set of multi-chromes they came out with earlier this year and they're so super pretty. Um, I think this one's Parsec. This one's my favorite. Just like that like glassy pink shifty situation. These are so pretty. I like using these two as face highlighters. Um, just absolute gorgeous multi-chromes. Lethal does a great job. And then these ones they came out with a few months ago, I believe. These are the like metals collection. These are supposed to like mimic like metal colors. <laughs> and then these are multi-chromes over here. Like we have this really pretty like bluey purple situation. We have this like tealy one. Um, but I love these metals ones, like this gold one. Are you kidding me? And then like this purple, they're so like reflective and delicious. And these are just really, really cool. And I think they've actually expanded the metals ones as well since, uh, launching. So I have a bunch from Glaminatrix. They're all in these little, little palettes here. Um, they sent me these a while back. Honestly, I think most of these are even discontinued, but it's still a good range of colors. I mostly keep these kicking around for those like build your own palette videos, you know? Um, there's still some really cool shades in here. I feel like we have a good mixture of mattes and shimmers, different tones. Like I have all the, the various basics of the rainbow, quite a lot of blues. Um, so these are mostly just kicking for the purpose of me, like using the Build Your Own Palette videos. The quality is still really good, but I think these are mostly discontinued. This little palette here, this is my random palette. Like I think I have like a random Sydney Grace shadow. I think this is a random matte from Cleona from forever ago. These are the three trifoils from the Menagerie Pastel Pup collection. These are just my random shadows. 
Honestly, I probably could live without these, but again, just for the purposes of build your own palette videos that I will eventually get around to doing again, um, that's what these are for. Um, I have some shroud shadows over here. These are the original Moonfall mattes and the original Moonfall shimmers before she made a palette out of the Moonfall shades. Um, the shimmers in the new Moonfall palette are more shifty, more punchy, more out there, and I think there's also two additional shimmers if I'm counting correctly. Yes, because these are seven. There's, did you see me just scratch? That was wrong with me. <sighs> these are a weapon over here. Um, but there's, I think, two more shimmers, if I'm not mistaken, in the palette itself. And then these are like her original, like rainbow, just standard shimmers. And even though like her shimmer game has been upped so much since these launched 500 years ago, um, I don't know. It's like nostalgic for me to keep them around. I think they're still really cool. Like World Eater used to be my favorite like red shimmer. And honestly, that is still really pretty. Like maybe it's not like hyper sparkly or anything, but that's still just like a really good classic metallic red. And I really enjoy that about it. Over here, these are my Gavisi singles. They launched these singles last year and they let me build my own palette with whatever I wanted. Um, so I picked just some funky mattes. I have like pops of neon and grungy shades. Um, very typical of me. And then just a various amount of shimmers in here. These are really, really pretty. I think they have a really glassy, like glossy texture to them. I think they're really pretty to work with. Um, I think the square pans is also kind of fun because it like, I don't know, it fits in the palette really satisfyingly. Um, but yeah, overall, these were these were nice. This brand is more known for like graphic liners, but it was fun seeing them branch out into sh like, like eyeshadows. Um, I don't know if they've continued expanding upon this line. I don't know if they will continue expanding upon the line, but they had a lot to start with when I first was um, picking out my palette. So these are fun to have. And last but not least, oh, we have the big boy. <laughs> this is a giant palette from Adept. Um, very handy when you have a bunch of singles. Like I wouldn't mind having even more of these because I could just keep all of them in one place. It's a lot easier to like see my stuff, especially when I am like kind of creating the vibes for my do-it-yourself palette videos. Like what I do is I have like my Pinterest mood board of like what I'm going for with the theming. And I just have that out and I'm scrolling on it constantly up and down. And I have all of my singles in front of me and I'm just kind of like this one, this one, this one. Um, I never film that process just because I don't know, it feels very like therapeutic for me to just do by myself. Um, but that's kind of how it goes. I just have everything in front of me and then I'm plucking as I go. Um, if I'm getting really specific with a certain color that I need, I'll go into like regular eyeshadow palettes that I know have magnetic pans and I'll pluck out of those as well. Like the Bella Beauty Bar Best Mattes palette that came out this year, that is gonna be a staple for build your own palette videos for sure. Cause it's just like, I think like 30 something shades of just mattes. Like it is perfect, just like regular pan size. That's gonna be ideal. Um, but over here we have all of my sugar pill singles. Um, there's room for one more. <laughs> uh, I, I just have like various like flamethrower, butter cupcake. I think this is arsenic. Um, just classic shades, you know? These are from Unearthly Cosmetics. They launched last year. I'm fairly certain these don't exist anymore. I don't think Unearthly keeps things around very long. <laughs> um, but these were just like a random set of singles they sent me. Um, all of these starting from here all the way down are my Duo Chrome Shadows from Cleona. I reach for these constantly. Like you can see how much like dent is in a lot of these, excluding this one, I did drop that one. But everything else I've just used a lot. Like I have gone into these so many times for various like do-it-yourself palette videos. Um, and then all of these are my Terra Moon shadows. I have a mixture of multi-chromes, just spectacular shimmers, uh, Moon Tide, and the Cosmos are my two favorites. And I knew exactly what they were because they're just like mouth-watering, mind-blowing. Moon Tide, or this one, Moon Tide specifically is my like, probably my number one favorite single in my collection. I think it's stayed number one the last few years. Um, this multi-chrome and this multi-chrome are super cool. This one's really pretty. Like I just have so many cool shades. Red Giant, um, it's a really cool like, red shifty like light shadow so freaking cool i i love all of these so that concludes my single eye shadows portion of this video all right well we started with 296 singles provided i counted correctly we decluttered 39 and now i have 257 um still an exorbitant amount but again i like to keep these for those do-it-yourself palette videos. I wanna have options. And I, I hope to get back to that at some point. 
I, I had plans to do one even back in like early November, but it just kind of got pushed to the side because I had other videos I needed to film. Um, I'll be honest, they don't do the best on my channel. So like when I have other things coming out, like reviews to do for you or other ideas, like it kind of gets pushed to the side, but I hope to do them again in the future. But let's move on now to, let's do my loose shadows. Let's do loose shadows. All right, loose shadows. I have 18 here. I actually could have sworn I had more, but I guess I don't. <laughs> I have 18 things. I have some from Sugar Bell. I have some from Unearthly. And I'll be honest with you, I think I wanna keep most of these. Let's see, which Sugar Pill ones do we have? We have Ghosted, Lumi, and Brick Toast. Ghosted is kind of like a, a shifty pink. Lumi is like an iconic shifty like aqua. I feel like this was like such a staple for years, like a long time ago. And then Brick Toast, it's really pretty. It has really pretty shifts to it. The thing is, I just don't really reach for these anymore. Actually, I did use Lumi fairly recently. Um, Flora and Mystic, like a really rich blue and a really rich golden green. Oh, it's hard because like, I truly, I think I've only reached for Lumi once in the last year. I definitely haven't reached for anything else. And then we have these really cool ones from Unearthly. This one is so messy. These are so beautiful. They are messy to use, but that's with any loose shadow. Like it's no different than the Sugar Pill ones. These are really, really pretty. I feel like they have such a beautiful, light dusting like they're not chunky in the slightest they're just like a light dusting of shadow they are sparkly and beautiful let's see we have ghost really pretty purple um phoenix this one's kind of like a almost like a i don't even know how to describe it. it's kind of toasty <laughs> it's hard to describe it beast is beautiful this like sparkly shifty like do you see that shift in there it goes from like purple to a like a teal it's really cool um pixie this one's kind of like a Almost like a bronzy lavender. Fright is a really pretty like bright turquoisey blue. Um, Phantom is like a pinky yellow. This one's also really pretty as a face highlight. Uh, Pegasus is kind of like a, similar to Lumi actually, or Ghosted, one of the two. One of these is similar to Lumi, one is similar to Ghosted. Um, Chimera, oh my gosh, this one is gorgeous. Do you see how pretty that is? It's like sparkly, it's rich, it's like a bronzy dark green. So freaking cool. Hydra, this one's like a really pretty kind of like purple situation. Bonfire, this one's like a peachy orange. This one also does work really pretty as a face highlight as well. It's like very, like it spreads out really well. So it just has like a beautiful flash of color when the light hits it, it's so cool. Um, mermaid, I just spilled mermaid all over. <laughs> um, this one's like a really cool like greenish shade. Genie, I think Genie's the one that's more similar to Lumi and this one's more similar to Ghosted. And then we have um, Ogre, kind of like this rich green. You know, I think I'm at a point where I've had these sugar pill ones for a long time. I have similar shades either in my collection in pressed form or I have all of these. So I think I wanna get rid of the sugar pill ones and I'll keep these unearthly ones. I also like that these ones are so much smaller. Like they take up less space than these. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do here. All right, so for that segment, we started with 18, decluttered five, and now I have 13. All right, liquid shadows. I have 25 of these. Um, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm keeping all of these Menagerie ones. I think they are stunning, they're beautiful. Um, the brand has sent me these to do like various like lip swatch pictures. I've been doing pictures where like I top like one of these over a liquid lipstick and they're so beautiful, but they're also beautiful on the eyes. They're just toppers. They're not even like considered like liquid eyeshadows. They're called Moonlit Metal Toppers. Yeah, they're just called Moonlit Metal Toppers, but I, I use these mostly as an eyeshadow, like a liquid eyeshadow. They are so pretty. They don't budge. They have beautiful opacity, they're sparkly, they're shifty, they are just amazing. So I'm keeping all of these. So let's just go over the ones that I have. We have Pounce, Firefly, Amulet. Amulet is like so sparkly, it's so cool. Glasswing, Adelie, and Tetra. So pretty, Adelie, so sparkly, and I've used Tetra so many times. Scratching Post, Solar Flare, and Moon Dust. Like Moon Dust, are you kidding me with how sparkly that is? Oh, I love Dragonfly, Hummingbird, Sea Dragon. So freaking pretty. And we have Queen Bee Salamander. Salamander is mouthwatering. It's so sparkly and juicy. And then we have Blue Tang and Monstera. Monstera is that beautiful green. It's so sparkly. But yeah, those are amazing. I literally like, they're just so cool. Um, on that note, these ones that came in the Legend of Korra ColourPop collection, they're cool, but by comparison, 
they're not as cool. <laughs> I think they're nice for like an affordable, like liquid multi-chrome option, but I just feel like I have better things in my collection that I'm using more when it comes to just eyeshadows or liquid shadows. Like I have these colors in other mediums that I like more. Um, they're not bad though. I think these are a good option and I liked them for a time, but I'm gonna give these to a friend. Also these e.l.f. ones, um, they're in the shades. What are you called? We have Dirty Martini and Aurora. They're just like liquid shadows. They're not super sparkly. They just have like a, a metallic sheen to them. And I think these colors are beautiful, like the olive green and then the rich green. Um, but I don't reach for these. Like I saved them last year in last year's declutter, but I don't think I've used these even once. So I'm gonna let these go as well. This one from Bella Beauty Bar is so pretty, Aurora. It's so pretty, but I'm looking at like the blues next to me. And like, do I need another blue liquid shadow? The answer is probably not. I have a few from Menagerie and I already don't reach for these like on the daily anyways. So I think I'll give this one to a friend, but this one is stunning. It's so pretty. And then unfortunately two that I genuinely just didn't love a ton. These are from Unearthly. We have a uh, Thorn and Willow, these liquid shadows. I used this one as an inner corner highlight and I wasn't mad at it, but this one I did try to smear all over my lid and it's just like, really sheer. It doesn't make my lids look super sparkly. If anything, it was moving my eyeshadow around a little bit. They're not my number one favorite formula. They're a little finicky to use. So I think I want to declutter these as well. And maybe one of my friends will have a better time with it. All right. So with liquid shadows, we started with 25. I decluttered nine. Now I have 16. Um, we're going to move on now to, I think my, my loose glitters. I think we're going to move on to that. Um, I don't think I'm really gonna do much with that because I've been dwindling it so much year after year and I feel like I'm still pretty happy with where I'm at, but let's go over them anyway. Glitters, I have 13. <laughs> was anyone like, who was around back in years past when my glitters were so big that it needed its own video? <laughs> um, I have 13 now. I've dwindled this so much over the last years because I just don't reach for glitter that much anymore, like loose glitter. It's not my like go-to medium. Um, it very much used to be. I used to use glitter in like every look. Um, but this is what we've narrowed it down to. I have a mixture of flakies and then glitter. The flakies are similar in the sense that it still gives you this like very 3D sparkly kind of effect, but it's not glitter. It's just like flaky particles. They're very soft. They mush onto the eye really nicely. Mush is not the right word, but it's the best word I have. Um, so the flakies are really cool. I have four from Pastel Roses and I did do a smell test. These smell fine. If anything, I probably got flakies in my nose. Um, but we have Milky Way, Galaxia, Rigel, and Vega. These are just various like shifty shades. Like you can kind of see the different shifts that are in here. I don't know if you can see the texture super well. The flakies are cool. The flakies are cool. These aren't gonna harm your eye if it gets in it, unlike glitter. I like flakies. I think they're fun. I also have this flaky from Dev Rune Cosmetics. Look how beautiful that is. You can kind of see the texture a little bit more. Like it's not glitter glitter. It's just like flaky pieces. And the colors that are in here are so pretty. This one is skeletons. I think these are so cool. They're so fun to use. And then my glitters. Uh, we have this one from Orglamix called Lucid Dreams. I don't think this exists anymore, but it's just like little tiny like stars and iridescent pieces little moons. It's just so cute. I wear this one a lot. Like it's one of my go-to glitters if I'm going to wear glitter. Then I have all these other ones from Apocalyptic Beauty. These are just fun themes. Maybe I don't need to keep all these. Like there's a couple that are still sealed shut. Okay, Betty Jean, these three are sealed shut. <laughs> Maybe that means I don't need to keep them. Um, this one's archeological egg hunt it has little like eggy pieces. That's really freaking cute actually. Um, this one is candy coated. It's like little candy pieces. And then we have plague bunnies. This one's like spooky bunnies and flowers. Um, but clearly I haven't even opened these. I think they sent me these in the spring this year and I didn't feel compelled to use them. So I think that says enough. These are the ones that I have been keeping year after year though. All Hallows Eve is one that I reach for every Halloween season. Um, it's bats, orange and black, little bits of yellow in there. It is just a festive little explosion. Paranormal cold front I always keep for winter, but then I never use it. It has like different blues and icy shades and snowflakes. Oh, it's so cute though. And I don't have it yet, but I'm getting that new winter palette from Cosmic Brushes. I ordered it and it's on its way to me. This would look so cute with that. So maybe I'll keep it for that purpose. Day of the Tripids is so cute cute these little flowers oh I can't I have to have it and then this one's bunnies in bloom it's like more flowers and little bunnies I don't know there's just something about those four I just love them 
and I already don't reach for them that much, so I'm okay letting the three go that I did. So with that being said, I started with 13, decluttered three, now I have 10. Let's get on now to my like gel glittery things. These ones I will swatch just because I need to know if they're still good or not because these kinds of products do tend to dry out. Um, if it's dried out, I'm not keeping it. I know you can revive things. I know you can revive things. I'm just not doing it. I don't wanna fight with it. I have so much makeup. I always get people every year, they're like, you should just revive it with Duraline. Well, I don't have Duraline and I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> I will be honest. All right, we have 11 here. Unfortunately, I did have to declutter quite a few last year just because some of them had dried out, specifically my unearthly ones. My Gavisi ones were still good, but only half of my unearthly survived. I don't know if I got the Spell of Beauty one like last year or this year, but either way, we're gonna check these out. Um, unearthly, this is MC1. I'm not confident that any of these survived, I'll be honest with you. Dry, 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 so that's unfortunate. And again, like if you are in this position, you can use things like eye drops, I think glycerin, Duraline, like there's ways to revive these types of products. I just personally don't really care. I have so much makeup to play with. Um, if I bought these myself, maybe I would care more. I'll, I'll leave it at that. But since these were sent to me, I already don't use these on the regular. If it's dried out, it's dried out. It's just less clutter in my collection at this point. These are really pretty though when they work. Um, this one's MC7 by Unearthly. Yep. <laughs> I think it's probably just safe to assume all of these unearthly ones are dried out, unfortunately. MC6, yep, dry, dry, dry. I really liked using these as, um, it looks like I got some on me, it's just flakage from the lid. Um, I like using these as eyeliner when they work as well. I think they're really pretty. And they do stay put really nicely, like quality is there, it's just, uh, they're, they're dead. <laughs> This one's MC11. This is one of the glittery ones. They had like six that were just like flat multi-chromes and six that were glitter. Nope, that one's dead too. I feel like maybe I just, I don't know. Maybe this just isn't my type of product to ever use ever again. <laughs> this one's MC12. Let's try the last unearthly one. The likelihood of this one being alive is... Actually, how is that possible? How is one of them still alive? That's hilarious, actually. You know what? Since you managed to be the sole survivor, I will keep you. I will keep you, MC12. <laughs> let's let's stick together. All right, let's try the Spell of Beauty bar one. Um, Caraxes. Let's see how this one maintained. It's so hard to open this with my nails. That looks like it's wet, but it is unfortunately not wet. <laughs> This one did not survive. All right, and now we have these Gavisi ones, the Technochrome Flakes. So we have Crystal Ball. Ooh, see that's satisfying. Holy cow, that one is still so wet. Wow, that's incredible. Good job, Gavisi. I've had these for well over a year too, and I actually don't think I've used them in a long time. Uh, Moon Dazzle. I just realized my little lid thing was gone on that previous one and it was still super wet. Let's try this one. Yeah, this one's still good too. Holy cow, beautiful. We'll keep the lid though, just because I like to try to preserve these. Um, this one was Moon Dazzle, I don't know if I said that. What do we have here, Glow Show. Let's try out Glow Show. Oh, Glow Show is dead. It's like these more opaque ones seem to dry out faster. The glittery ones seem to last better. I don't know what that is, but that does seem to be a universal thing considering it's been multiple brands at this point. Also, my little towel was so smooth and now it's so not, and I'm so sorry, but I also, it's not that big of a deal. Um, Asteroid, this one's like opaque, but also glittery. So let's see what happens here. Can I please have it? Thank you. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, that's exciting stuff. Cute. I personally have also put these all over the lid. I think they're fine, but I personally like to use these more as an accent. Like I'll add a little bit of glitter in like the outer corner or I'll do like a liner if it's more of the opaque ones, which now I don't have any of, or like inner corner if it's a light shade. Um, this one is Milky Way. Let's see here. Oh, Milky Way's done for too. What is it about these just like multi-chrome ones? They like do not survive. It's so weird. All right, well, for that segment, I started with 11. I decluttered seven and now I have four. So that was just a matter of what was still alive and what was currently deceased. Um, so let me give you my grand totals. Let me gather all that and then I'll be back with pictures and all that fun stuff. All right, well, this was an event. <laughs> I actually feel really good about decluttering some things that were either 
old or taking up space or gone bad, so on and so forth. Um, we started with 363 total things. I decluttered 63 things and now I have 300 things. Again, majority of that is going to come down to my singles that I want to keep just for the kind of just the sake of keeping for potential usage in the future. I do like having them. Um, but yeah, everything else I feel really good about really condensing down like my loose shadows, my liquids, my glitters, stuff like that. I feel really good about it. Um, so here's the pictures. Here is the 363 total things that I started with today. Here are the 63 things that I ended up keeping. And here are the 300 things that I ended up decluttering. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was satisfying for you. I hope it helped you like maybe learn about a new product you were interested, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, let's uh, zoom out and finish this up. Eyeshadow palettes are the next and final declutter of the season. Thank you so much for watching my little video shedding about all of my single things. I, like I mentioned in the intro, I haven't filmed the actual declutter yet, so I'm very interested in seeing what goes down and maybe discovering some things that I didn't know about until now. I would love to hear your thoughts though. Do you share any of the same favorites as me? I would love to hear your thoughts down below. If you made it to the end of this video, leave some like colorful, sparkly emojis. I feel like that's the theme of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm Batty Bean there as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.